everybody. I thought today I would show you how I make boiled eggs using my mother and this nifty uh, stainless steel thing I got. You can take the legs off it, which I do for canning, or put the leggies back on. You just pinch it together and stick them in the little groove thing there. Hard to do one-handed. And it makes a standoff. And you put it in your cook. I got about an inch of water in there. Because when you're using a pressure canner or anything like that, they operate on steam. So you put that in there. Then we get our eggs. And you look for the pointed side here. That's what I do. And put them in. And I bought this little stainless steel uh, um, rack thing. I believe it was eBay, but it might not have been. I have to look again. There, it does seven eggs. And that thing will fit any of them. You see, it's bigger, a little bit bigger than what you needed. Yeah. Seven eggs. Okay, I got the eggs and the water in there. Put my top on. Oops, get it turned around here properly. Line up your little um, thing here. This is open. Turn it to close. And make sure your vent is closed for pressure. Then get my finger out of the way of the camera. I go down here. <clears throat> Don't know if it shows up in the camera. The seat number 14 is egg. Go all the way down to 14. It's automatically preset and then you push start. In five minutes after it reaches pressure, five minutes is all it takes to make boiled eggs. And they come out really nice and they even peel really easily. Now, I haven't tried this. I didn't have this, um, my muller when I had my chickens, or I would have tried it with fresh eggs, because fresh eggs are, everyone knows, they're more difficult to um, peel. But I really like this outfit. Okay, she just went off. And went into keep warm mode, so we'll shut her off. Let the pressure out. Turn my fan on. I'll pull some of the ceiling. I'll turn my ceiling fan on too. And my light. Help. There we go. Oh. Just wait for it to come down here. Okay, we'll see if she's ready to open. Yep, always open away from you. It's because you don't want to get scalded. And I always do it right over the kettle to shake the steam out too because inside, see how it dripped on the stove? There's always steam inside. Put it over here to cool down. Now let that sit a minute or so. Now some people put their eggs in um, water. You can do that if you'd like. But what I'm going to do for the video's sake is I'm going to put them in this bowl here. And I'll just let them cool on their own since it's only quarter to five. And <laughs> I made them a little early. But I'd like to make the eggs for snacks see how they're getting here. They're very hot. Let it sit a minute. Let's see. You go quickly. I'm used to hot stuff, so let's see. 
Maybe I will use a towel though, because I am trying to show you what to do. I'll get me a paper towel. There we go. I'll make that a little bit thicker and I'll use that. I don't advise you to do what I did. I just do it because I'm used to it. I've been cooking for years. And you just get toughened up hands, I guess. But you'll notice they're not all whoops, where is it? They're not all broken up or anything. You know how eggs like to crack when you do it the other way? I mean, you still might get one that cracks, but I haven't so far. But there they are. And you have boiled eggs in my mother. Now, um, I forgot to mention before, on some, like if you have the Instant Pot brand or another brand, some of them won't have um, an egg button on it, but if you use like the steam setting, if you have a steam setting, and just do it at high pressure for five minutes, it should still work. When the five minutes is done, just let your steam out like I did, and then uh, you can take them out and either put them in water to cool or put them in a bowl like this. And they're too hot for me to shuck right now. Um, let, maybe I'll let them cool and then it will do one so you can see what they look like inside. I got one out and I ran it underwater. It's still quite hot, but not like it just came out of there. And we're going to see if I can do this. Peel it one-handed. I don't know if I can or not because it's, it's hot plus it's one-handed <laughs> but the peeling comes off usually pretty nicely not bad for one-handed eh I didn't manage to tear the egg up even <laughs> oh maybe I spoke too soon oh I nicked it a little bit there oops you can see how it comes out pretty easily and like I said these are not fresh eggs so I don't know don't take my word for it try it yourself with fresh eggs and maybe you can do a video now I'm going to go over here and rinse it off <sighs> don't mind my dirty dishes <laughs> haven't got that far yet and uh, there we go. Now I'll get me a knife. Oh, let's see. I'll use my Idaho hillbilly knife. I'll cut it in half this way so you can see how it looks inside. See? They're not super dried out. You can still see there's a slight amount of moisture there. But they're not dried out. They're, okay, let's pop a yolk out. This is, look at that. Look at that yolk. I like that. And I love boiled eggs. Can't guess what I just went? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Remember, whatever you do in life, make a difference. This is my version of um, Instant Pot type boiled eggs. Bye, until next time.